Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you everyone. Thank you uh, for Musa for the introduction and thank you for everyone to join this uh, sh uh, session uh, sharing. So I hope everyone can see my presentation and can hear my voice. Okay, so let me uh, start. You are loud and clear. How you can hear you loud and clear from Nigeria. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, so uh, thank you again, everyone. So, uh, uh, Dr. Nabila, again, I would like to say thank you to her because uh, she has been uh, describing about uh, uh, her uh, one application, which is the one that I didn't apply. So far, for my uh, case, I apply for the uh, proof of concept, uh, the first one uh, uh, part of the uh, uh, ISDB application, uh, transform a call yeah, in 2019. Okay, so for 2021, uh, the Transform uh, Fund Call focused on the response to recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic with the aim of building a stronger, more resilient and uh, prosperous future, which is, has been uh, deliberated by Dr. Nabila. But you have to make sure that they are focusing on this six SDG, Sustainable Development Goal, okay, No Hunger, Good Health and Wellbeing, Quality Education, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, and as well as industry innovation and infrastructure. So in my case, I apply for proof of concept and I focus on this good uh, health and well-being, as well as the uh, for industry innovation infrastructure. Okay, so uh, for information, uh, at the end of this uh, presentation, I will show you about the um, website of the um, ISDB so we can see uh, how the uh, grants looks like, yeah? how my application looks like in the uh, system. Okay, so even though we are talking about the six uh, SDG, the, uh, the um, ISDB already highlighted which one that you should focus. So I recommend you uh, before you want to apply uh, on this one or during your uh, proposal development, you have to uh, look into the definition of each SDG as the your guideline on what you are looking to, uh, what you are going to describe on your proposal. So if you can see on each of these SDG, for example, zero hunger here, okay, they have the explanation of uh, the aim of to end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Okay, if you go for good health and well-being, you go to the definition, it will expel out about the ensure healthy life and promote well-being for all uh, at all ages. Okay, and then you have the quality education, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Okay, so for your information, I received uh, an email from one of potential applicants this year where he asked me about this quality education. So if one of you have been looking forward to apply uh, within this SDG number four, you can go into the detail of the explanation, what you should write in your proposal. So by looking into the definition, I think it will help you. This is the one of tri uh, uh, tricks that I uh, try uh, that I applied uh, during my um, application in 2019. Okay, so if you go to another SDG, clean water and sanitation, okay, the explanation focus on ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Okay, and this one for your information, we find out there is one um, a winners in 2019, what they did, uh, they make a proposal to uh, do the desalinate, uh, uh, what we call that one? They use the uh, salt water, yeah, from the sea water to, to become a, a drinkable uh, water, a pot potable water. So, so they focus on this clean water and sanitation. Okay, are they SDG, uh, affordable and uh, clean energy? The definition focus on ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. And then the last SDG is industry, innovation, and infrastructure. So in this case, I uh, use uh, this SDG definition to build a resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. So in my proposal, I apply a plan ways uh, to become a uh, food preservative. Uh, one, to focus on good health and well-being, where 
in this case of COVID-19, most of the, for example, if you want to apply uh, this one, during this COVID-19, there are so much of borders has been shut down. So those uh, food that being produced in farm cannot uh, reach to the client. And even if they reach to the client or customer, the food already damaged. So I apply a uh, food waste uh, as a food preservative so that we use that food preservative to cover the uh, a fruit or, or a fruit that being produced in farm so that it can extend the chef life. So my focus on this SDG on good health and well-being and the last one on industry innovation infrastructure where I make uh, or oh, I made a proposal stating that how to um, prepare the uh, fruit preservative in a, a lab scale and going to become a uh, scale, a uh, big scale later. Okay, so this is how we uh, a, a trick that I may suggest to you. You go to each SDG highlighted by SDB and try to uh, focus on their definition so that it will assist you on how to prepare the proposal. Okay, so again, this one. Uh, application category this one has been uh, deliberated by dr nabila so in my case so i will not repeat but in my case i apply for category one which is proof of concept okay so the grant covers that you may apply up to 100k hundred thousand us dollar and eligibility uh, focus on scientists and innovators so in this case if we go to the definition of the proof of concept any application that uh, any applicant who like to apply on this category one, you have to make sure that your uh, idea has been proven. Okay, so uh, if we go to the proof of concept definition to support scientists and innovators who have a proven concept, which means uh, you need to prove the concept first or it has been uh, highlighted or have been published uh, elsewhere stated that this uh, innovation has been proven okay and then who are in need of, of uh, for in initial funding to develop their ideas into a pilot project development solution and a business uh, proposal so i don't explain much on this one because this one has been uh, explained by dr nabila but in my case uh, there is a question previously stating about the proof concept you have to make sure that when you want to apply your idea at uh, the, the a grant using your ID, you have to prove it uh, first. Yeah, it should be uh, has been uh, published uh, uh, somewhere else. Yeah. So uh, the next is uh, different uh, category uh, may need you to provide some uh, explanation. Yeah. Uh, so this explanation can be categorized into different criteria so you can see from innovativeness impact and outreach doable and practical sustainable replica and scalable and patentable and commercial potential this one for uh, proof of concept okay and then you can go for identification of sti estimate cost and uh, plan uh, implementation plan business model pattern position and potential impacts that will be different uh, needed or request if you apply on different uh, categories so in my case since i apply for proof of concept so i would like to share to you about this uh six criteria that i have prepared okay so if you are going to apply for capacity building you can see those that i highlighted here i put um, a sign there meaning that that is the criteria needed by the isdb in the grant proposal okay so different category I may need to prepare a complete proposal according to different criteria uh, requested. Okay, so how to apply? You can go to isdbengage.org. Yeah, so this one uh, we can, okay, never mind. I can stop for this one. Okay. Okay, for this one, you can go to this uh, website, uh, SDB, okay, and then you can go to the calls, call for innovation, okay, so they will open this uh, uh, page, so where to download the guidelines, you go to the bottom of this one, okay, this is operational guidelines, so you open or you click this operational guideline, so when you click this one, you will get this guideline, okay, so 
based on this guideline, you I recommend you to read one by one according to your categories. So in my case, I applied for proof of concept. So in that case, I just read on this part, okay? Category one, new ideas with proof of concept. So they have highlighted here, you can see, Proof of concept means a demonstration in principle with the aim of verifying that some concept or theory has been practically potential, which means uh, somewhere else has been stated that it is proven to be uh, uh, the idea to be done. Okay. 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 So uh, let me focus on this one. Okay. So proof of concept for my application. So they aim to support scientists and innovation, uh, innovators who have a proven concept, okay? And then you need to provide an evidence that your idea or concept has been proven. Some, for example, published manuscript original or somewhere. So in this case, for example, I have published one of, when I joined academia in 2018, so I published a very basic, uh, fundamental research and it's been proven that it's uh, doable. So using this uh, publication, so I wrote this ISDB grant and I cite this paper, okay, my paper that it has been proven as uh, the concept has been proven and it can be goes up to the lab scale. Yeah? So from this uh, published uh, journal or manuscript, uh, you can uh, write down your journal to enhance the research activities up to le the level prior to scale up, okay? Which means up to the small or laboratory, uh, small scale or laboratory scale activities. So this is how I do this strategy uh, for this proof of concept. Make sure there is something uh, proven or published somewhere to prove that the idea that you're going to proceed uh, to introduce in the ISD proposal are there, yeah? And then you need to fill in the detailed criteria. Okay, again, you have to refer to ISDB guideline, what they are looking for. The good thing about the ISDB guideline that I share with you, they provide a question to you. So you just answer the question one by one within the framework of your uh, idea. Okay, so for example, you have to fill in the criteria on innovativeness. So you have to describe the idea and the challenge you are proposing. Yeah, because you want to solve a problem so you have to issue the challenge first okay address the challenge first and then you have to highlight how you consider the idea to be an innovation or creative meaning that perhaps someone else have been doing it previously so you have want to highlight what is the advantage of using your idea compared to the other ideas or similar ideas, okay? And then if you want to initiate an innovation, a new thing, make sure it's completely uh, completely a new approach or a significant improvement to an existing approach. Meaning that you can use other ideas or ideas that already exist, but you want to enhance it or improve, make it better, uh, make it um, uh, more uh, reachable, for example. So this is uh, the strategy, okay? And then, Make sure you differentiate between your approach and the previous one, yeah? And then explain what improvement your approach could bring to materialize the idea. So this is the own innov innovativeness, meaning that it's not only new idea, but it's also allow to improve an idea which has been done by previous uh, uh, activity or studies, okay? And then you need also to fill in information related to your research or, or your, your uh, proposal on impact and outreach. How can your idea give an impact to solve challenge in Islamic Development Bank uh, uh, member countries? So if you go to the guideline, they already highlighted what are the ISDB member countries. Yeah? And then need to focus on this uh, six SDG as have been uh, highlighted previously. Okay, so who will you help? using your idea. Yeah? You may state that sometimes you may, using your idea to help the farmers, in my case, sometimes you may say that uh, you use this, uh, uh, your idea to help the food manufacturers in your countries. Yeah? And then how will impact to be measured? Okay, perhaps you can say that impact can be measured on numbers of food which has not, which is not being wasted during this COVID time. 
okay or maybe impact on uh, in term of money generation by using your idea and how many people will be pos uh, positively impact in short medium and long term perhaps you can say within uh, uh, five, uh, one year who will be benefit uh, benefited by, by your uh, idea on another three years in another five years in another ten years who will be uh, uh, get the benefit from your ideas okay so this is on impact and outreach another criteria is on the doable and practical so is your idea scientifically sound that is the question from the isdb uh, guideline so you can say yes definitely is sound but you need to provide the evidence that's why in my case i cite the paper that uh, uh support my idea okay so this one done what do we need to practically implement it okay you may say that some equipment that you may need or some uh cheap uh, technology that can help uh, assist a uh, uh, poor country or least developed uh, uh, Muslim countries, for example. Okay, so does the net technology needed to be implement uh, your idea exist? Uh, is it new thing or is it uh, 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 already there but you need to improve? Uh, okay, and then you have to be uh, specific on how you want to carry out your activities or your project or your idea. Okay, so you spell out a specific, uh, specific way on how you do it. Okay, and then uh, in this doable and practical for proof of concept application, it's compulsory for you to complete the KPI template and estimated cost and financing plan. Okay, so failure to complete any of the required template will disqualify your proposal. So this is a compulsory. So again, uh, let me show you how to get this one. So when you open this guideline, okay, you can go to the boat to part of the doable they state here see pages 10 to 12 to download the kpi template and estimated cost and financing plan so you can go to the bottom of the guideline here okay so this is the kpi down uh, uh, uh sorry template you can download here and also another one cost uh, estimate and financing plan so this is the template so fill in this template the good thing is this template has been improved compared to my uh, uh, session in 2019, they even show you what uh, the definition of this, how to fill in this uh, uh, table. Yeah, You are very uh, lucky because they provide you a detailed information. Even here on the cost estimation, they provide a detail what you should fill in, uh, uh, the similar uh, component or activity that you can fill in in the uh, table. Okay, and then sustainable uh, is another criteria. Okay, the idea when eventually is turned into a product or service must demonstrate a self-growing potential in terms of continuing its expected impact. Okay, so your idea should, should be sustainable. You, so by doing, uh, by writing on sustainable, you need to highlight the idea that use cheaper tools or facility. This one, for example, in my case. Huh? So for your uh, idea, you may suggest that you use other um, a tool, for example, which is uh, available the whole world, for example. So it will be easier for you if anything uh, broken down on related to your uh, equipment or uh, machine, you know that uh, it's easily uh, obtained yeah? to co make sure that the project is uh, continuously done. Huh? That's why a sustainable uh, uh, requirement shall be fulfilled. Okay, You also may add that if the source to materialize are abundant, the impact will be bigger. Okay, And then uh, I also suggest to you, recommend to you, you need, uh, it's good if you can describe how the eventual product or service will maintain itself survive and grow in the marketplace okay. um, my suggestion if you can provide a statistic and cite that statistic in your proposal that will be uh, meaningful and will help you or help the evaluator uh, to capture the gist of your uh, idea okay and another criteria requested is replicable and scalable is it uh, your idea can be scaled up Okay, because we know that this uh, SDB application, they have different categories and even if you yours is on proof of concept, they plan, the SDB plan that if 
the project can be scaled up so that you can apply for another categories in the next few years. Okay, so it's good that if you want to provide your idea, make sure it can be scaled up. You have to think about the uh, strategies and activities that in the end, the proof of concept will be translated to be in a scale up uh, activities later in next few years. Okay, so will the product or service be able to work in other ge uh, geographies and setting? Okay, so in my case, because I deal with uh, plant waste, so definitely the whole world there's abundant of plant waste, so it can be adopted by uh, lots of countries. Okay, and then will the product or service be able to scale up and reach more and more people? How? Okay, so in this case, you need to provide numbers. Okay, what I mean of numbers, you can provide. Uh, any data uh, from uh, any publication or even from any uh, online uh, information, provide that numbers as to support your uh, proposal. Okay, we cannot simply state that uh, this percent uh, of people uh, will receive this, uh, but you need to provide an evidence as well. Okay, and then uh, we have this uh, last requirement or criteria for proof of concept for patentable and commercial potential. So um, the guideline asks you questions. So you answer the question here, does your idea have a potential for patenting? Okay, so this is the way that we want to secure, the ISDB want to secure your idea. So you make sure that it can be patented. Okay, and then you need that uh, uh, to explain how you see your idea developing in future into commercial product or services. Okay. Perhaps you could expand to other fields. So in my case, for example, I make a food preservative using a plant source. So it can be applied in cosmetic and even um, in a ph pharmaceuticals as well. So I explain there, it can be exp uh, expanded to other fields as well. Okay. And then I uh, you need to describe your plans, uh, your plan for patenting or trademarking the ideas of your work. Okay. When and where do you want to apply for patent? So for example, I have three years um, uh, duration to complete this uh, project, eh? this given project. So on which year I should apply a pattern, perhaps on the last year or on the second year. Yeah, And then uh, where? Different countries have different way of applying pattern. Uh, even they have different time frame to uh, for a pattern to, pat uh, to be granted to you. So perhaps you can apply in certain countries when you know that in your countries the patent application may took a uh, long eh, may take a long time to to get granted okay and then the idea must have a potential for patent protection and development into commercial product or services with an expected benefit so by um securing your idea using patenting you can uh, uh ask people to pay when they want to use your idea or your uh, your project uh, your your uh, project uh, products uh, in other countries. So that's why um, ISDB suggests you to have a pattern. Okay, so this is an example of the KPI table. So this one a little bit different uh, than um, our session, but uh, the good thing is they have highlighted to you on what to be uh, written in the table. Okay, so for example, there is an output outcome and preliminary impact yeah. component is what activities you want to uh, 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 conduct yeah. you want to carry out in within your project uh, duration or research dur duration okay so uh, this one they already explained uh, output could be a numbers of students that completed a special uh, specialized training course outcome would then be how many of graduate of that course yeah and then the impact, yeah, uh, is it? So in this case, they provide an example if the research related to disabilities, are people with disabilities, uh, are they going to become independent in the near future after taking up your uh, the idea from your project? Uh, so this is the explanation that's been given in this uh, KPI template. Okay, and then you have to fill in the estimated cost and financing plan. Okay, this one same like Dr. Nabila share to you. Okay, this one not much different from ours, but the good thing they have provide an evidence, uh, sorry, suggestion here uh, at the bottom of the table. So 
they say that what are activities that need to be uh, filled up uh, they suggest if you need to do a, a consultancy service yeah uh, upgrading a platform hiring operational staff so in my case i hire one uh, 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 postgraduate student to complete the research uh, the, the the project uh, conduct a training yeah uh, do you need to purchase uh, any equipment software or application yeah uh, if you deal with uh, since we are talking about the COVID-19, so perhaps they will have a to uh, for designing clinical protocol. So this as well, and perform a screening test, both of these as well shall be included in the uh, cost and financing uh, plan. Okay, and if you need to conduct a meeting or workshop, okay, and this one definitely will incur cost to your activity. So you need to provide this information in the uh, table as well. Okay. So uh, this is uh, just uh, want to show to you some of this one. Okay. So this is my uh, this is my desktop. Okay, for the ISDB. So this is my proposal. Okay. So you can see if you get uh, if you if you um, Inshallah, if you get uh, uh we call that one become the winner okay so you, you you will get the status winner here and then this is the proposal okay so you have to fill in like dr nabila said yeah you fill in information so when you fill in the information in the portal they will uh, capture information who uh, what is your phone number email address and this is the kpi table yeah uh this one is on the budget or, or financing plan okay and then this is the information that i told you you need to provide information information on criteria impact and outreach yeah 250 words so this why this is how i explain here you can see on uh even i cite the paper that support my idea here with citation even if you click uh it will bring you to the paper Okay, so this is the good thing about the ISDB portal because they allow you to cite using a linking uh, with the journal or any publication. Okay, uh, so we don't, perhaps they don't want to see people just throw in ideas without supporting, without any support information or support evidence. Yeah? So doable and practical, okay, sustainability, replicable and scalable, patentable and commercial potential. Okay, so this is um how the uh if you see in general not much uh, that you need to fill in but within this 250 word uh, you have to make it a uh, very uh, detailed but informative not so detailed but informative yeah informative and uh, the the information is really uh hit to the point uh, related to your uh, idea okay Okay, and then post proposal evaluation. If you, um, um, there are a few stages. So on the, for example, in 2019, you can see for 5,000 applicants in 2019, and then uh, uh, the first stage uh, will be uh, uh, 1,400 have been selected, and then uh, 100 have been chosen, and then 60 receive uh, appraisal, and 34 winners in 2019. So if you apply uh, this year. Uh, you will receive uh, if you uh, uh, become one of potential uh, winner okay you will receive an email from isdb and they will ask you to submit uh, isdb know your customer form this one you need to fill in the information about your address uh, where is your and uh, full name yeah even your uh, identification card if you have your passport for example so do so that they want to ensure that this is really an application from somebody it's not some something that uh, uh, someone that apply but it's not really want to do the uh, work yeah and then you need to submit a complete proposal okay and then if you are lucky you will got you will got, uh, get uh, two stages of sdb evaluation this one they will not tell you but uh, afterward those winners this one the 34 winners will receive an email stated that you will you 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 have been selected as the winner okay so this is in the case of isdb 2019 okay 
what are the next after the application so next after you apply uh, you, you you become the winner you they will uh, ask you to draft a contract and uh, they send you the draft uh, contract you sign the contract send back to them and then you will receive the disbursement according to the timeline that you have been that you have proposed in your proposal okay and then tips and tricks Okay, so for my case, I suggest you to follow ISDB, uh, what we call that one, uh, Twitter, for example, or if they have uh, IG, Instagram, and even Facebook, you can see what are the previous applicants done, eh? uh, what are they are focusing. So you may imitate or improve that idea as well. So this is what I did in my application in 2019. I follow their uh, their Twitter will and to look back what have been applied in the previous uh, uh, years. Okay, and then you have to make sure you aim to solve problem in least development member countries. We know that in ISDB country there are uh, uh, we call that one a modern one country yeah, the developed countries and the least developed countries but if we can focus on least developed countries uh, uh, activities that can be done to that uh, to, to that place using your idea that would be become an advantage okay and then remember you have to focus on SDG two three four six seven and nine even though we know that there are lots of SDG but you have to focus on these six SDG okay so that's all from me uh, uh, thank you everyone for joining this uh, session and if you have any question i'm open for that one question has to do with how how well or uh, what other method can we use to show to show the proof of concept aside the published article dr mohammed over to you please Okay, uh, for the first question, yes, if you have uh, already have your uh, project into the pilot study, you can go uh, to the, uh, even you can go to the category two, yeah, scaling up innovation projects. Okay, uh, so even though uh, as well, you even can apply uh, category one if you, but you need to modify uh, uh, in order to uh, on a proof of concept, but you need to modify your um uh research activities uh uh to a better innovative way for example so any of these category one and two uh can be applied if you already uh go to even to uh pilot uh studies no problem uh, on the second uh question i'm not so sure i'm not uh very clear on that can you repeat again or if you if good as well if you can type on the chat so that i can read Okay, let me explain further. The Dr. Bello would like to know that you mentioned that you have to provide evidence that you have done something on it. And in your own case, you use your publication as evidence. He would like to know, aside the use of published article, what other way can we use to show that we have done something on the work ahead of now? And there is another question there that has to do with what advice do you have for the applicant whose application is not patentable and he has no evidence of manuscript for publication? So two questions. So you can you can answer the two together. That assuming I have it as an idea, no publishable article, and I've not even and it may not be patentable. Can I still apply? Why the first question has to do with what other method can I use apart from showing that I've published the idea before? Thanks. Okay, thank you for the question. Um, I'm suggesting uh, if you don't have any publication related to your uh, pro uh, project, you can go to any, uh, what do you call that one? Uh, uh, known website which related to your uh, idea and you can cite from that. Uh, even 
to website. For example, in my case, I'm using the data from Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations related to the food waste here. So, and then I just cite this uh, uh, website, uh, focus on that waste, and then uh, by citing it into the, the portal, they will link to this uh, uh, journal, uh, sorry, website. So that's an, an approach. Okay, so for the next question, stating about uh, no patentable uh, evidence, okay, uh, could I'm I'm not I actually I'm not recommend uh, no it's not advisable to apply for ISDB without any evidence. But in case of uh, if uh, you can find any similar activity or work has been done by other researchers, for example, you can cite as well that one in terms of uh, the idea. This is uh, another way of proving that idea can be done or doable in your uh, project that you apply. This is my, suggest uh, my suggestion. But clearly, I do recommend you, uh, you apply your, uh, your, this grant without proving any evidence there. Mm. And this one uh, focusing on proof of concept. Okay, my suggestion go for similar work. They have same idea or similar idea and then cite that one. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. okay. we have learned yeah, we have learned from there. And I will just want to you to add one more for some of us who have no publication or has not along that line. If it's if it has been a final year project, we can also use that one as source of evidence, just an idea. But what Dr. Mohamed has mentioned uh, should suffice. Okay, we are gradually rounding up the event for today. And Professor Ojo from Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, if you are there, just let me know for the vote of thanks and for you to declare the event close. But ahead of that, on this note, I want to thank Prof. Dr. Mohamed for that beautiful presentation. On behalf of Advanced Engineering Innovation Research Group and the consortium from Federal University of Technology, Mino, Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Ugumosho, the first technical university, Hibado, and Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida University, Lapai, we say a big thank you to, to our two presenters for today, Dr. Nabila Romli and Dr. Mohamed Shawan bin Ablai Sani. We are very, very grateful for the experience sharing. And we hope that when we win, when we write this, we may still call on you for one or two things. And we are also very grateful for sharing your knowledge with us today. So, Without wasting much time, I would like to call on Professor Ujo to give the vote of thanks to the event. But the end of that, but the end of that, I've noticed, I've noticed the presence of Professor Professor Wala is on his online form. Professor Wala is online. Engineer Jibri Bala, we are very grateful. And so some other senior colleagues from, from other institutions in Nigeria, we are very, very grateful. Professor Toshiku is also online and some other captains of the industry. So, Professor Ojo, over to you to give the final vote of thanks and to declare the event closed. Thanks. I could observe that Professor Ojo of uh, Professor Ojo Network is not actually giving him chance to do that. Yeah, Prof. Sorry, I just wanted to type that. Hello, Prof. Good morning.
I just wanted to type that the network here seems to be fluctuating. Can you hear me? We can Hello? hear you. So, yeah, we can hear you. you, yes, you, can. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I want to, I want to appreciate, I want to appreciate Prof and AERG for organizing this uh, workshop and this training. I want to appreciate the presenters also for sharing from their own experiences. And I want to say that it's really, really, really eye-opening. And then actually it also tells one that uh, the process for application or proposal submission will have to still be more thorough and then make sure you pay attention to some details. Uh, I want to say we really appreciate uh, Dr. Muhammad Sani and Dr. Um, uh, I don't want to spell our name wrongly, but we really appreciate their presentations. And then we believe that uh, this is going to be of assistance to us in our future applications. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your words of experiences. Thank you, AERG and Professor Dino. Uh, we really appreciate you. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone who participated. I can see Professor Wara and so many other ones that Professor Abin has uh, recognized also. So we appreciate everyone. Thank you very much for participating. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. You can give my event close, please. Okay. That's good. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining. Uh, we would like to thank you all for joining this uh, session. And just to remind us, too, that uh, the, uh, the video recording of the presentation, as well as the uh, presentation slides, will be shared on the website of AERG, which is www.aerg.com.ng, very soon. So thank you very much, and do have a lovely week ahead. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks everybody. And if Professor Joy is there, you can unmute yourself again and declare the event closed. Okay, thank you, Prof. I have uh, de declared the event closed. Thank you very much. Do have a wonderful week. Thank you. God bless.